Hi, I am Nicola Di Marzio, PhD student at the EO Research Institute Davos, and I'm glad to introduce you to Cymatics, an acoustic biofabrication platform which is a tabletop device and can be fit on a lab bench or into a biosafety cabinet. It's a comprehensive solution which came directly with the biomaterial and labware portfolio. Let's start with an overview of the setup and the basic function of the machine. The machine is ready to go when it arrives and the only thing you need to do is to place it on a flat and stable surface to plug in the power supply, remove the travel transportation safety system and power on the device. After the first installation of the machine and before its first use, you will need to calibrate the leveling of the vibration plate with the two side screws, which mechanically adjust the position of the plate. The Cymatics device is fully controlled by a touchscreen interface and two lateral knobs, which allow you to control amplitude and frequency of the vibration plate. The UV protecting doors can be slide opened and the vibration plate is exposed, on top of which you can fix your labwares and use a camera which can move on the X, Y and Z direction uh, to fully observe your patterning procedure. In addition, a backlight illumination system can be started to have a better contrast in your images. When your pattern is done, you can use a UV module which automatically uh, is placed on top of the labware to cross-link and fix in place your patterns. The UV module allows you to choose over four different wavelengths for your light cross-linking. After the machine is started up, you will see the login interface in which you can log in with your personal account. And a first step is the initialization and calibration of the mechanical movements of the device. You can do this through the interface and wait for the different components to calibrate. After the calibration is successful, you can go ahead with the next step. As a next step, you will need to set up your UV cross-linking parameters. And to do this, you access the UV settings interface and choose the wavelength of the light that you choose. At this point, you can select either a uniform intensity value or different values, which can be set as a gradient on the illuminated surface. After you did this, you apply the settings and you can go ahead and proceed with the next step. As a next step, you will need to set the patterning parameters. And through the interface, you can easily set your initial value of amplitude and frequency of the vibration plate. When you enter the patterning interface, you will see that the camera view will appear on screen and you can select to the initial position of the camera, either an overview position or a zoom position to have a closer field of view on your sample. At this point, you can also decide to start or stop your backlight illumination, and you can also control the camera settings uh, through the left panel of the interface, and here also decide to start or stop the light coming from the camera directly. After you perform the settings of your machine, you can now prepare your biomaterials and labware. You can load the labware, open your machine, insert the labware inside of the machine onto the vibration plate, lock it in position, and you are ready to pattern. In this moment, you can start the patterning button and confirm the mechanical vibration of the plate with the safety button. Thank you for watching and if you want to have more information regarding this sound biofabrication platform, please visit the Mimix website.